Hey guys, Christian with Aptuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 5 from the Jan 2017 POA Paper 2. If you want to see the other solutions for this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below so you can see that playlist. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so as per usual, we take a read of the question to familiarize ourselves with the information. Authentic Sandals is the manufacturer of sturdy leather and fiber sandals, which are popular with tourists. Each pair of sandals is packaged in a unique three-color string bag designed and made especially for authentic sandals. Mm, branded and marketing boy. The following information was taken from the books for the period 1st of June 2015 to 31st May 2016. All right, so we have opening stock, purchases and closing stock for leather, fiber and bags. Okay. Uh, other costs were as follows. So we have bag designer wages, $5 per bag purchase. That's going to cause a problem later. I'll tell you when, it, when we get there, right? Uh, so sandal stitches wages, okay, accrued stitches wages, uh, insurance on factory equipment, factory equipment at cost, factory building at cost. Okay, so, so it says additional information including the following. So it says all factory assets are to be depreciated at the rate of 20% per annum. Half of the insurance is a prepayment for next year. So that, that refers to that item there. And it says using the worksheet below. So let me scroll down so you can see that worksheet a little more clearly. Right, so using the worksheet below, prepare a statement to show the cost of raw materials consumed by authentic sandals for each raw material for leather and fiber. And that's seven marks. All right, so that's about 10 minutes or so. Okay, so let's scroll back up so we can take a look at the information. I'm going to use the spreadsheet below to fill in the items there. Okay, so I think that should be sufficient there. So basically what they want is they want the cost of the raw materials used. So that's basically like a cost of goods sold calculation. Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. I don't think we have any returns out, nor do we have any carriage in. So it's going to be relatively straightforward. So I'm going to, I'm going to do both at the same time. So we're focusing on the information in both of these columns here. All right, so as you can see, opening stock, right? 14, 6 and 22, 3. Add purchases of 471, 3 and 47, 1. That's cost of materials available for use. And then subtract the closing stock of 16,500 and 119, giving us the cost of materials consumed of 469,400 for leather and 57,500 for fiber. Okay, let's scroll down to the next part of the question. So this says to prepare a statement to show the total direct expenses incurred for the bags. So they give you, oops, they give you a nice little table down here, and that's going to be about three marks. So it's not too involved. Let's scroll back up to get to the information. Okay, so we have the information here for bags in this particular section here. So we could start off with that, right? So the cost of the bags. So we have opening stock plus the purchases. Uh, that's the cost of bags available for use minus the closing stock of 2300, giving us 8200. Now, it says here that the bag designer wages is five dollars per bag purchased. Now, I don't know if maybe I just am not seeing the bags purchased, but I have no idea how to find the bags purchased as any number of bags purchased because it says five dollars per bag, right? So if you purchase one bag, you pay five dollars, that would go there. If you purchase 10 bags, 10 by 5 is 50. If you purchase 100 bags, 100 by 5 is 500. But there is no indication in the question as to the number of bags purchased, nor is there a way to find it. Now, I don't know if in the exam there was an errata sheet distributed that showed the candidates who were sitting in the exam at that point in time what the number of bags purchased was. Um, but I do not know. Now, if anybody knows, the, the, if it has a different version of this paper, the corrected version, or knows how to figure out the information from the information given, please comment in below and I will pin your comment and I will learn something from you, right? Other than that, um, this is another error that's cropped up in relatively recent years. So what I did is I simply put, um, I left it blank and I put how. That was just a thing to, um, when I was doing the solution, like, well, how are we supposed to find that? So I'm going to use the total direct cost of bags is 8,200, all right? Again, if you guys know how to figure that out, please let me know. I'm very curious. Okay, let's go to the next part of the question. Okay, so for the final part of the question, they said, beginning with the total cost of raw materials consumed, prepare the manufacturing account for authentic sandals for the period ending 31st May 2016, showing a separate amount for total direct labor costs, total indirect costs, total cost of production. And I have a whole format down there. Okay, so what I'm going to let me scroll back up so we can actually see the rest of the information we have to use. Okay, so they said start with the total materials used. All right, so the cost of raw materials was, was five twenty six nine hundred. We got that from a combination of the following. So I'm going to scroll a little bit. Just follow me. All right. <clears throat> so if we add up these two items here, four sixty nine four hundred and fifty seven five. 
right? We will get the 526.9. So that's the cost of materials used. Okay, let's scroll back down now. Okay. Um, to that, we add total direct labor costs. Now, the direct labor cost was the sandal stitcher's wages plus the accrued stitcher's wages. Because, of course, accruals are amounts we have incurred but not yet paid. So even though they're not paid, they were still incurred and need to be included in the current period's cost information. All right. From there now, um, <clears throat> we have the direct expenses. The cost of the bags used, which we just got the 8200 which, again, we said is just a kind of figure we're using for now until the the correct version of this question comes to light. All right, so the total prime cost is the sum of all three things there. Now, the overheads or indirect costs, all right? So insurance and the factory equipment. Now, they said here, half of the insurance is a prepayment for next year, which means half of it is for this year. So you find half of 4,200, and you're gonna get 2,100. And then we have uh, all factory assets are to be depreciated at a rate of 20% per annum. Okay, so we have equipment and building, so 20% of each. So I think I put it separate. No, I, I put it together. There you go, right? So 38.8. So you add 134 and 60, you get 194. One fifth of that is 38,800, totaling 40,900. And we subtract that from the 657,600 to get total cost of production. Okay. All right. So that's about it for this question. Again, if you guys want to see my manufacturing account video, you can check out that video. You can check another playlist up there. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to click the notification bell and be sure to check out my website for free PUA handouts. Anyhow, ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.